Hello everybody, this is Stringing the Back for another Hogwarts Legacy video. And as you saw going over the bridge there, we're about to fight a troll because we have an assignment to collect troll bogeys. Slight problem though, there's a- oh, there's two of them. There are two of them. Hmm, we need to lure one over. I don't feel confident in fighting two. Oh god, we hit two of them. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Alright, we need we need to do we need to use all three combat things, so. You take this. And have some of that. <laughs> Defendo. Oh, that was good. Okay, hit a troll with its own boulder. Dude, put up a fight! I'm destroying him! Hang on. What's this troll doing? It's, it's not even put up a fight! Uh oh, there's more guys down there. Stop right there. Back for more. Oh god, no, they're too high. They're gonna be too strong. Where'd the freaking troll go? Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Oh god, he's level 20. Wait, they're fighting the trolls, so maybe they'll kill the trolls for me. I hope you're okay. I just want to kill the troll. Marvelous strike. Look, the troll's putting. Hang on a minute. Is this a bug or something? Because the troll's putting no fun. The lamb returns to the wolf. Confringo. Die. Uh, are you going to put up a fight? Deucent. That's all you are. Put up no fight. Oosh, 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 oosh. Like, I'm literally destroying him and he's doing nothing. Oosh. Yeah, this is too easy. Okay, we get defeat this troll and then get the bloody hell out of here. Oh, he leveled up. That was a bit e too easy. Yes. Yes, we did it. Right. Oh, we can get out of there now. <laughs> that was an intense start, wasn't it? I'm having a whisper. Ah, there she is. My favourite professor. The activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Yeah! Now, ready to learn flippendo? Yep. Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You okay, will here we want go. to focus with this spell. Oh. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Yeah, flippendo. Flippity flip, flippity flop. And I feel like we're going to need all these new spells. Done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just... Yeah. Mind the plants, please. I'll try. Flippendo, <coughs> you're a natural. Ah, okay, so it's dispelling violet shield charms and flipping targets up upside down. Cool. Oh, yeah, I could waypoint the uh, treasure vault off now because I don't need it. Yeah, it took me about half hour to find a troll. And then, after this, I think we have got all the spells. Okay, we still need 
this one, and uh, this one. But we're going to get these two. Oh, and we have the uh, curses as well, but I don't know when we're going to get them. They're probably going to be a late game thing. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Damn right I have. Can I talk to her? Ah, there we go. Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Can't imagine why. Precise, deliberate movements. Oh, it's like an M. Hey, we did it! Arresto momentum. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Slows the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effect the spell have on it. Okay. Very good. Okay, so we will stick it here. Practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Yes, ma'am. That's it. Keep it up. Hey, we did the quest. Right, now for the next spell. Oh, hang on. We got one of these. Mind now, demiguys. My demiguys. Oh, 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 all the students are here. Oh, divination. Don't think we've done divination yet. Oh, tower ray cards. I predict your future. Well, she's no Professor Trelaw, we were, 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 whatever the name is. Trill, I can never say it right, it's Trillwarny, I think, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, is my look-alike. The art of divination. Oh, oh, it's a cup thing. Is there a grim? A wonky cross, which means you're going to suffer, but you're going to be happy about it. Oh, he got, a, he got a cold. Stay away from that guy. Oh, nice. so knowledgeable. Wait, oh, nigh? Wait, hang on a minute. Are you... I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. Wait. Are you the mother of my I've BFF? I've all of my tasks, of Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, okay, yeah, he's gotta be I that. did have something of a premonition wow. that you would Wasn't follow expecting that. through. Now, <laughs> just as you have it just, just hit me now. your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? Ultimate power. Oh, hey. I see power. I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking, and I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills, and you do seem to possess one. <laughs> but this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic oh, towards your targets. Descendo. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Some new toys practice. to play with. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Okay. Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's quite a long cooldown, I see. Moves objects downwards and slams them into the ground, causing a shockwave. So it's kind of like my uh, one of my ancient magic attacks, then. Right, I think that is it for the assignments. 
so we can move on to the big quest, which requires us to go to the free broomsticks. Right, we are about Hello to do... Hello nice to see you. Yes, it's nice to see you too. Right, we are about to do talk to Serona Ryan. And you may have noticed that my uh, outfit and that have changed because I have d done a fair bit of looting off camera before doing this quest. You know, get myself prepared, get some better stuff. I don't know, I just feel like I felt like I needed better stuff. I want to be as powerful as possible. So yeah, we uh, have this entirely different out outlook now. We we've got this red coat which looks nice with a red outfit. And yeah, we have got some of these which have like traits on them. So this one has Protego Shield in one, which decreases damage taken from Dark Wizards, which could come in handy. And yeah, I have looted a few of the, these as well. This one looks, this one's pretty good. So it increases the damage from my ancient magic. And yeah, a little tip, because you can find these uh, traits at a ba at, uh, bandit camps and that, and goblin camps. So a little trick that I was doing off camera was just before I did the raid, I say I saved, and then I did the raid, looted the area, got the, got the trait that was there. And then if I didn't like the trait, I would just reload from my last save point, do the raid again, and then the trait will change. So the trait is always different. But anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's do this quest. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. Ooh. And I was happy well, to you help. know she likes us. Oh, she asked us good, when she asked us to call her by her first name. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgok. He's a friend. Give me the money. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. What a nice he was guy. Cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. You can't we blame are. him for that. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly. Which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Well, it took me a while to realize you were like a witch. And his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him. About Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. Yep. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. Ooh, the hog's head. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones Fair as enough. young as you. That said, but if you're looking talk. for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. The Cruciatus curse will loosen his tongue. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't have that yet. Um, okay. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working Rook and on together? Wood. Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I mean, makes I sense. fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Thank you, well, Sir. Thank you, Sir. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I'll give him your regards. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Huh. The only people that should be watching their back are Ranrock and Rookwood. They'll be scraping them off the pavement when I'm done with those two. They'll be begging for mercy. Right, let's go to the Hog's Head. Whee! Ready. Dramatic entrance! Welcome to the Ox Head. Ooh. The empty seat is yours. Ooh, well I want that first. The mounted hog's head. This mounted hog's head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the hog's head. Right, what we got back here? Ooh, demi guys move, nice. We can finally unlock Alohomora 3. Oh, we got some nuts. Om nom nom. And we'll have a quick pint. Om nom. Oh my god, this is bigger than my head. 
Right, I'm assuming we need to talk to you in my spit bucket. Sup, dude? You're giving me answers. Hello, Lovecock. Sorona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually... It looks like an elf. I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. That's I right. Am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? I know the Cruciata's curse. Sirona okay, yeah, Sirona trusts, trusts me. And she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sirona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. <laughs> Ranrock That's not and sus. I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Hmm, wonder why they fell out. I guess probably because of their ideas. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. You Gather will give me information. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Huh, you will give me information. If not, well... I'll murder you, and send your head to Ranrock as a warning of, what's, of what he can expect when I next see him. Oh, can we unlock this one? Damn it. Sup, dude? I'm ready. Can I talk to him? There's no time to lose. Okay, we just need to follow him. Come on, short stack. Lead us to the entrance. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. Ooh. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She no, cared not what pain she caused the goblins. I was expecting goblins it to be the holy that grail. The rightful <laughs> owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The yeah. differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. Terrible. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Fair enough. I'm going to sneeze. Ooh, there's like something down there. Probably mongrels. They like to nest here, don't they? <coughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, it's a Berlin trial. Oh, God, dude. I know you got little legs, but hurry up. Oh, you could have told me it was your lot. Got a freaking flu powder right next to it. Ah, and there it is. Revelio. Which is tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's a tomb. It's not going to be pretty, is it? Right, I'm assuming... Well, I got going on my own because he can't go in because it's only accessible by wizard kind. Right, short stack. You better not... You better be right about this. Otherwise, things won't end I well for you. I wish luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Well, you know now, what? Before you set He's off, a nice guy. He seems like a nice guy. Do you have any questions? Okay, what, sh what, what, what can I expect? I have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb. Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. Inferi? The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. Oh, are those the things if that... Uh... B -b 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 in the sixth movie in that cave that were that, that there's like loads of them and they attacked Harry and Dumbledore. I f wonder if it's those things. Okay, why is Ranrock working with Rookwood? It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Give me answers. Why would that be? 
I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite hmm. fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Okay, it all I'm going seems in. clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Okay, he's he I said will that. Um, here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please be careful. Okay, he said that fire seems to be effective against the inferi, so I'm gonna use fire, and then we can chuck in that for there. Right here we go. Ooh, it's like it's like Indiana Jones, <laughs> except I'm a witch. It's sealed. Hmm. Where are we gonna get that for a start? I need to find a butterfly. Let's try. Lumos. Oh, I love. I, I sorry. I love that sound. Ooh, hang on. Ah, I need to find Rebellion. the other one. Oh, that's the easiest by here. Moss. Curious. <laughs> Merlin's beard. Merlin's beard? Why does everyone say Merlin's beard in this game? That's Slughorn's line. Okay. Revelio. Wow, this is really intense so far. Okay, I think we found the tomb. It's gonna be something in here. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Well, it could be. First, I want to go... Oh, That's one way to open the door. Revelio. I want to go in here, get some more stuff. Okay, I think Lumos. I know what we gotta do. Get the butterflies onto the door. Oh, uh, yeah, they're, they're moths. <laughs> I keep calling them butterflies, but they're moths. My B. Right, where's the other one? Oh, yeah, over here. Such an eerie sound so far. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Oh god, it's gonna be in theory. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Oh no! no, no these zombies! <laughs> They're practically zombies! Ah! Oh, okay. So, in theory, must be struck with fire spells. Okay, so we need to use fire spells. Confringo. Like Confringo! Oh, oh there's only zombies! Incendio. Oh, yeah, that was good. Revelio. Is that it? <laughs> in theory, stands zero chance against me. I've watched too much Walking Dead to know how to deal with zombies. Confringo. Ooh, I gained XP from that. Revelio. Right, let's have a little, little, little bit of a loot. Ooh. Confringo. Ha. Aha, come to papa. And also, Rebellion. what's the deal, my character? We're being scared of fucking in theory. So hundreds of the buggers drag Harry to his demise until Dumbledore saved him. They're not that scary. Pull yourself together, love. Okay. How do I get up there? Maybe I just maybe I can just jump. Ooh, nice! <laughs> like Spider-Man! Ooh, maybe I could have just jumped up here and attacked them from up here. What a bit of a good idea. Okay. Uh, 
Uh oh, there's gonna be something in here. Revelio. Oh, maybe not. Just more of Lumos. these buddy but moths. I will say moths. I promise. Two. Revelio. Now find the third one, which is up there. But how do I get up there? Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to do. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, okay. I got. I think I got an idea. Got to be a way to power it up. Lumos, this has a moth imprinted on it. The same as the door. Wait, it does? Aha! Ah, okay, I think I see what I need to do. I need to use a moth. And put it on the door. Maybe? And then, maybe we can use this one? Flipendo. Okay, let's try the Depulsor one. Aha! Got it! Revelio. Yes! Lumos. Ah, ah, no oh. ah, damn it! <laughs> Here goes my ankle again. Ah, right, come here. Revelio. Alright, here we go. It's like in the eye. Lumos. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Hmm. It's sealed shut from the other side. Hang on, love. We're looped in first. Okay, I think we can open this door though, can't we? Pulsar. Yeah! But where do I need to go? Wait, no, I just came from this way, didn't I? No, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> Already lost, right. Revelio. Hmm. Oh, maybe I need to go down there. Oh, well, I did Down something. I go. No other way. Wait, there's no other way? What about this way? Revelio. Can I go up this way? Levioso. Well, I'm going this way because I want the loot. Lumos. Oh, that's rubbish. Ha ha ha! Oh no! Yeah, we got the loot. Ooh! That's for the room of requirement. I need some more stuff for the room of requirement. Ow! Alright, no way, no way to go but down, I guess. Wait, how, wait, how far is that? Uh, jump! Oh, oh, it's water. Phew! <laughs> Well, I go in this way first. I want to see what's over here. Lumos. Ah, maybe this is the way out, perhaps. Or I'm just gonna run into a shit ton of inferi. Ooh, what's? Okay, that's gotta come in handy. Akio. That's gotta do something, surely. Aha. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, we've just gone back. Okay, yeah. Good to know, though, so I don't have to jump down the bloody hole. Right, so we need to go that way. <laughs> Hold your nose. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Incendio! Oh, 
Right, that's it. Ah, ah! Yeah, I got him. Right, time for the age of magic attack. <laughs> Wait, why didn't I do anything? Push, push, push! You can't beat me in Fearus. You don't back to me. Is that it? Ooh! Oh no, no, there's another one! Incendio! Die! <laughs> but yeah, how many of these things Incendio. are there? Incendio. Die! Is that it? I think that's it. Oh wow, we're getting lots of skulls, which is awesome. Rebellion. Wow, that was intense. <laughs> okay, we need to do the moths again, but scratch that, we're looped in this place. Ain't coming back down here. Confringo. Oh, I think I see what we need to do. We need to get the moths onto that bloody platform thing. Lumos. Come to Papa. And then we use the pulso. Ah! Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll just stand on it. Ah, there we go. Right, now we need to get all the moths on that door. So, first things first. Get you on there. Rebellion. Hmm. This looks even more complex. Move the platform back. Loot. And what do we get? Ugh. Kind of disappointing so far. Not getting anything epic. But, you know, we got stuff to sell for galleons, so we'll take it. Lumos. Right, on the door now. Now we just need to get down there and get the other one. Wherever it is. Ooh, hang on. I think I... Repairo. No, not Repairo. <laughs> Wait. What does this do? Oh, I think the problem is... The freaking thing's gonna disappear unless... Maybe I put it on there, maybe? Maybe that... Okay, yeah. Maybe that's what I need to do. Ah. Ooh, these puzzles... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I got it now. Bang, bang, bang. Lumos. Come to Papa. Yeah, we got it. Right, wonder what's waiting for me and you now. Witch's final resting place. Lord Gog said the helmet was in her oh sarcophagus. Oh god, it's going to be loads of inferior. Hey, Guess we're going to have to fight more inferior by the looks of it. Rebellion. I'm taking that for a start. The dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord won't like this. Uh oh. Why did this why did the music do that? So I did all that for nothing. Better show this to Lodgok. Oh we got the we got a ring. Oh. Okay. Wait, return to Lodgok. Log Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Oh. Oh good, I don't have to go back through all that. That wasn't too bad. I mean, I, I, was, I was literally expecting like there'd be like an Aston of Inferior again. But no, okay. 
I like the fact that the inferior are vulnerable to fire in this game. I think that's a really good reference to the sixth movie where Dumbledore basically annihilated all the inferior with a fire spell. Really cool. Really cool touch there. Definitely not definitely done deliberately. Right, we've got to talk to this dude. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet. Only a dead ashwinder. Damn! They got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. <laughs> you could fight? Hmm. Nah, I'll go I'll on my own. There now. Good. There's I no time beat them to on my own. I don't get need to help. that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. I'll take any leverage against him. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Well, they won't for long. Not when I'm done with them. Hmm, how many of them are there? Yeah. Oh, they're fighting the troll. Wait, they're fighting there the troll? The Ashwinder. Oh, might as well let the troll do the work. You've made a grave mistake. Oh, it's a troll. Confringo. <laughs> might as well help them out. How dare you hurt a troll? Wait, do I have to? Oh, oh, okay. I gotta fight him too. It isn't Nora Treadwell's precious little guardian. Alright, I wanna have to focus on these guys. Oh, I know! <laughs> this bloody troll was helping us! Time to pin down. Glacius! Expulsion. Oh yeah. Flash of inspiration. I'm trying to freaking glacier them, I can't. Confringo. Boosh. Glacius. Ow. Got this freaking troll behind me. Expulsion. Ah. Right, I, I need to change my I need to change my spells real quick. I need you. Expulsion. Thought you could hide from me, did ya? But get this freaking troll out the way. Right, that's it. You're Expulsion. Right, that's what I need. Ah, right, right, this freaking troll can die. Oof, that was annoying. Ow. Yeah, no match for me now, troll boy. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong button. <laughs> yeah, I think that. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, is that it now? Rest easy, my large friend. I mean, he kind of helped me, but uh, yeah. Pain in the ass, troll. Binding one. Oh, he leveled up. Well, hey. Oh, nice. We got another Wicked World potion. Okay, maybe you need to go over here. Revelio. Aha, it's gotta be here. Give me this. That's it. Ah, we got it. Nice. Oh god, what else? Oh, this more of them. Rockwood. No more happy days for you. Ah. You're the one who really... Ah, ah, I won't go down, it's easy. 
Oh yeah? Boah, they locked. I <laughs> Won't go down as easy, will it? Shame nobody saw that. <laughs> Shame nobody saw that. Oh, there's a fishy. Oh, there's fishies. Die, fish, die. Right, now I just need to get back to the goblin dude. <clears throat> Ooh, things are getting intense. I'm making a reputation for myself. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Well, yeah, we just did explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. Damn right the it is. The helmet shines even more <clears throat> brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile. Remarkable. It's stunning. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, huh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely oh. an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. Oh, you know I'm something, glad don't that you, I dude? You. Hmm. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Hmm. You know, you're eyeing something. Hey, we did it! Ooh, we got a new quest! Okay, let's see if we get any more owls from our friends or something. Ooh. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Okay. As Ooh, I mentioned, Sebastian. I assist around Mrs. Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's yeah, still one of my favourites. Okay, anything? Oh, now hang on. that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Ooh, Please okay. meet him there when you can. Anything else? Oh, we've got something else. I've not heard from my else. Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Okay, okie dokie. Anything else? Okay, I think that's it. Okay, that's the rumour requirement. We can do that. Okay, we'll do these two quests since they're part of the story. We'll do Sebastian last and we'll do this one next since that's probably not going to take too long. Ooh, we're really progressing in the story, aren't we? Right, I need to say first. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Uh, Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Oh, Deke yes, I finally decorated the room a requirement. <laughs> Deke calls it a knapsack. Ooh, a knapsack. Ooh. Wait, is it that? Wait, wait. Oh, it's trying to pull me in. What is it, a black hole? Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Ooh. Oh, pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than True. out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Wait, wait, what's, wait, what's he doing? Why, why was he just stood Come up there? Come on, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Well, okay, while we're here, we'll do a little tour guide. So we got potions. We've got a potions station by here. I've gone for the botanical theme. Oh, it looks awesome, doesn't it? We got some herbologist stuff and growing. We got this, which gives us fertilizer. And I can never bloody navigate myself. Yeah, I haven't got many wall decorations because not many I, I've unlocked yet and that I actually like. We have this awesome statue, which looks awesome. 
We have a nice little desk by a window. We have a screen, which really does nothing because I'm, like, taller than it. We have some moonstone grinding. And, oh, yeah, we can identify some gear while we're here. Ooh. I hope we need to customise real quick. Ooh. Wonder where we're going. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. The Malfoys? A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, oh my goodness, nice I, I can see it. For good. He's a Furby. Oh, it's a puff skin. Oh my goodness. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skin, and in it'll go. All right. Ooh. Okay, so how do I do it? Tap T and then hover over your knapsack, hold and... Oh, I need to put it in my spell set. Okay. Okay, well, where are they? Oh, over here. Ah, look at them. This, oh, they're so adorable. All right. Oh, oh, we got him. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> hey, we did it. <coughs> we got a puff skin. I managed to rescue a puff skein. Oh, a puff skein. rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers oh, really capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. Ooh, a job and all, perhaps. Fly? All right. Flying Where would I find eh? one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Never Deke easy, is you it? There whenever you're ready. Ah! Okay, how far? Oh, God, it's quite far. Sup, Deke? Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Ah, I get kicked Perhaps there, Perhaps we keepers. should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Fair enough. I know what, I, I, I get Deke, Deke, I like Deke. About I care about Deke. Like He's a cool dude. Master. Deke's master was second best goblin in the franchise behind Dobby. To Deke, he saw beasts only as a source of income, to be used for potion ingredients and labor. And Deke will not say more. Oh, but okay. Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Okay, let's let's go, go for let's go for it. Let's go Good for luck. it. Deke will be waiting. Ah, oh, okay, so that's what they are. Because I think I saw these, like, early game and, well, I couldn't get any, I couldn't do anything. Right, I'm assuming that's it, but there. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we need, oh, we no, need to do Levioso. Levioso. <laughs> Come to Papa! Mine! Nom nom nom! My beast now! Everything's alright now. Oh, we're, we're about to fall off a cliff! <laughs> I'm about to fall off a cliff and die! Oh no, that was a bad idea. What's <laughs> up, Deke? I rescued a Jobanol. Deke hopes your Jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cosy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. I are there yes. any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. Moon they calves? They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. See ya, Deke. Hello, Deke. 
Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only oh, under so the light wait till of the night. moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Ugh, fair enough. How do you come How to be a Hogwarts? Hogwarts? I'm curious. After working for your former master. Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was That's the most fortunate. fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Oh, that's a big shame. I shall shame. go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Okay, so we're probably going to have to skip till night. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we need Do to... Do cooperate, won't you? Arrest the momentum. Aha! What are you going to do now, beastie? No, damn! Oh, wait, no, I didn't get him. Yeah, got him! Ha <laughs> ha! Mine! Settle yourself, I mean you no harm. Yeah, I only want, I only want a few beasts. <laughs> Gonna build a petting zoo after this. It was a bit trickier <clears throat> than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calf. I'll save them all. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. I think that's a good right. idea, Deke. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Gotta find are. a place to put him. We need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. Which is gonna be where? We're just gonna let him roam but free in you? Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine well, all those beasts too bad. running amok. That wouldn't do at all. So where are you going to Perhaps put them? Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Okay. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was just a kitchen. He's like, yes, cook the beasts. Hmm. What is that? What exactly did you think of? A greenhouse? Oh, what's happening? Heavens! Ooh. Of course I've done it. But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. It's a passage to the fourth dimension. Meet you inside when you're ready. I'm ready now. Ooh, let's go in. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, this definitely puts Look the TARDIS at this. to shame. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Vivarium? Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps wow. you want to release them, let them see their new home. That is big. Okay, so, oh, okay, so we do have inventory limits. Freedom! <coughs> yeah, but I'll never see them again. I don't know how big this place is. Oh my god, look at the eyes on that thing! Oh, oh, it's a big oh. one. Oh, it's a birdie. Wow. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Dude, Deke they, hopes they, so can too. you just look at the but area? If you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Doesn't that kind of make me care, a poacher, though? Beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. Fair enough. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Okay, that's probably something I can do off camera. Oh, no, no, I could do... Oh, oh, I have to do it now? Okay. Kibble! Okay, so we need two... Ah, oh, let's oh. brush the puffy sky. Oi, oh, brushy, brushy. Tickle, tickles. Tickle, tickles. 
Oh, he cooked. Oh, look at him. He loves it. Okay, this is... <coughs> okay, this is awesome. Like, le legit. You could probably spend hours just losing yourself in this one room. Ah, puffskin fur. Nice. Have your yum yums, puffskin. Puffskin. Right, time for you, big eyes. Look at the eyes on that thing. It's magnificent. Oh, tickle belly. Tickle the back. Ooh, yeah, nice. Yeah, have some kibble as well. Oh, that's cute. Moon calf fur. Right, now for you. Have a nice little brush. Gotta brush the feathers to keep them safe. Oh, I move the bird. Oh, look at it. <laughs> look at it. He's like, oh, oh yeah, that's the spot. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. That's what this is. Wait, do I get the... F can I get the feather? Oh, okay. So there's like a cooldown for each beast. So you can't just grind... Okay, that's fair enough. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An, an enchanted, enchanted loom? loom. Exactly. We said that at the same it time. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into oh, the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay, we need to get out of this fantasy paradise. I mean, let's face it, it is bloody paradise. Look at it, it's awesome. Right, back into the room of requirement. Okay, so we need to add a trait to an item of clothing and upgrade an item of clothing. Okay. Ah! Okay, so that's how you get the traits. You can get the... That's how, okay, so that's how you up add the traits to the uh, clothing. Okay. Cr cruelty! <laughs> Increased damage with Crucio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, I have traits though. Okay, um. Okay, we'll have this one then. Incendio, since we're probably going to use that a lot. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will. Damn right they will. By rescuing even more powerful beasts. Hmm. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Fair enough. Thank you, Deke. Thank you for your help, Deke. Hey, we did it! The elf, the knapsack, and the loom. Oh, we got fences, apparently. Oh, we got a challenge completed. Yeah! Right, have we got any other owls to worry about? Number looks of it. Right, we are in Feldcroft. We are about to meet Sebastian. And you there he it. is. What's up, dude? Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. <laughs> My uncle Can't Solomon is why. a former aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. I mean, Anne fair was enough. always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. In the shadow of the estate. Okay, so we've got to follow Sebi. Wow, this place is a dump. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. Yeah. With Ranrock's Couldn't lot tell. wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Okay, here we are. Here. My nice sister house. should be just inside. Oh, oh, I just got to go home. <laughs> Sup, Anne? Gonna meet, we're gonna meet his sister. Oh, that, I'm assuming that's her. But there, 
Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrewd <laughs> fits cannot you? reverse a curse. Nothing can. Okay. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. Dude, is he only trying but to help? We have tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. Dude. Now look what you've done. What do you mean, what he's done? I'm sorry. More like what you've done. What a jerk. I only wanted to say hello. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Wait, why, why does it look like he's got a dress? Not the visit he'd hoped for. I need to speak with Anne and Solomon. Okay, I'll talk with Anne first. I'm Revelia. sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Oh, we're going to loot this place while I'm at it. Ah. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave things be. <laughs> Guess he likes stealing her potions. All right, hello. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. Oh, she looks That's terrible. Right. I mean, look Pain at the baggage in her eyes. comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. So when do what curse it's it nice is? nice to meet you, by the way. I mean... You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Yeah, I kicked his oh, dear ass. Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. Is he like a I coward say, or something? I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I mean, do you I even know what the curse is? Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I mean... If it will put her mind at ease, I'll, do I'll, do tr I'll try. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. Hmm... I mean, she seems pretty certain there's no cure, but... That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Huh. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. What a pussy. You call yourself an aura? I mean, it's, it's an interesting one because hope it's the hope that kills you, but, you know, you shouldn't give up. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. Hmm. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. 
He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. All right, Sebi. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Because he's a jerk. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Yeah, he was out of line. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. Yeah, you, you. Way he's out been of angry mind. since my parents died. Arthur oh, Sebastian. was hurt. How bad he for him. Grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne I mean, and he has given seem up. genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Woo! Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They well, should on, not go. be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. <laughs> Gold, maybe? Wow, this is a nice place. Very nice, aesthetically location. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. Wow. This way. Push, 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 push. How much longer are we expecting uh -oh. to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. Guess we've got a fight. Be a part of it. Ah, only good Push, push, push. Die. <laughs> Clean this place out in no time. Oh, oh, hello. Made your last <laughs> Just get a boy right in front of me. I'll bury you in the deepest vault. Yes, all right. Yeah. Ah! I'm ah! Yeah, how many of these things are? Oh, Captain. Biggie Edge. Ah! No, damn it. Double the swords for double the pay. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I yeah, I bet it was. Hey, on Sebi, I want to loot. Revelio. Wow, that was intense. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Damn Couldn't right they did. More. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. 
children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They'll kill for no it reason. Sounds as if the loyalists attacked Anne without cause. I wouldn't put it past them, but I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It well, may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. And it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Ooh. Shall we have a look around? Ooh, we will have a look around. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. But we're going to save that for the next session. So I hope you enjoyed. Quite a hectic episode this was. And until next time, ta-ta! Ta-ta!